Google, how are you feeling today? I'm grand, thanks. What can I do for you? You don't need to do anything. Sorry, I don't understand. <laughs>
and that connects all the way to there so it seems to charge the whole lot on one connection while as this one has two uh, connections by two USBs as you saw early on but I just want to compare uh, the actual speaker size of the speaker between the solos and uh, Mia can you see that this is the view light speaker which is much bigger um, than solos uh, the good thing about solos is the fact that you can actually bend this you know and um, that's really really useful actually you can readjust preference to the shape of your head and your ear um, this one in the other hand it doesn't look like a smart glass but function like a smart glass which is very casual very fashionable item isn't it i'm not saying this is not fashionable it depends on what sort of fashion you're after um, i do like bulky sort of frames because that sort of disguise my ugliness on my face while as this one is more like a intelligent person look isn't it and I did actually ask for this, and that's why I'm getting it. So I love the design, well done. All right, so this view is all connected up uh, on my Galaxy Z Fold 3. Um, so it's all ready to go. Right, so I don't know what you guys think. Do you think I look more intelligent on there? It's incredibly light. It doesn't make you feel like you're wearing smart glasses, actually. I know it's one of the models that I that you can choose, and. It's quite well, well done actually. It's casual, comfortable, light, just like how it's called the view light. And um, I don't know whether you can see. Um, yeah, so that kind of makes me more intelligent look, isn't it? More fashionable in some way, if you prefer this sort of way. I did ask for the, um, the blue light protection I think there's a slight tint. Yeah, there's definitely a blue light protection. I can see a bit more yellowy tone on the lens. So that's really good because that really protects my retina for long-term use of PC or watching those TVs, if you see what I mean. All right, so let's try out the sound test, shall we? So this is Veeam from KV. Is the volume maximum? Yep, it is. Okay, the reason actually I hold it up and down is because it kind of feels like this, the sound is actually coming from my smartphone, but it's actually coming from the view light speaker. That's not bad actually. Obviously it's not as best as, um, as good as uh, the Sony WF-1000XM4 with, with the active noise cancellation, but yeah, you can clearly hear the sound and the beats. That's really good. So I think one of the biggest reasons why Google Glass actually went bust is that no matter how geeky you are, you don't really want to show off that you're geeky. Otherwise, someone will smack you in the head or call your names as they walk past by you because you're wearing this sort of thing that's bulky and pretty obvious that you look like a geek. Um, but um, on the contrast, what View has done is make the smart glasses discreet as possible. I know there's no such thing as projected screen and so on, but I'm sure um, companies like View or Solo is up for that challenge at the moment. But in the meantime, they have actually achieved a goal where it's try they're trying to make it augmented reality uh, smart glasses as discreet as possible. You would imagine if you actually walk past by or someone or talk to someone or even close up, uh, someone who doesn't know would not, will never ever notice this is a smart glass. Never, ever. And that's what's really the beauty about this. It's very light it's, and it's comfortable so you can wear it for long term uh, use, um, especially if you're staying at your computer for a very long time. It has speakers on the back side so you could actually listen to music. You can actually dialogue with um, Google Assistant or uh, Amazon Alexa. You can get directions and etc. So I love those features and also plus for mine, I got the blue light protection as well so that I could protect my retina and so on. So yeah, it's a brilliant achievement brilliant product so also i believe it's a very good price so please make sure you go to view uh, smart glasses website to check out the various design they they have and um, you won't be disappointed so i hope 
this video answered your query in regards to view uh, smart glasses but if you have any other further queries please do uh, comment below and i would love to come back to you as soon as possible so thank you very much for watching this video and overall i would like to thank uh, team view for giving me the opportunity to review this brilliant product okay thank you very much all the best bye bye